you're not suffering for no reason. Like, God is using you in your lowest moments even when you don't feel like it. God is using you for you and for others. Before we get this video started, I want to go ahead and give a shout out. As you guys can see, my makeup is done. Ah, makeup is done by Faces by Zamani. I'm going to go ahead and leave her Instagram in my description box to go check her out. Yeah. Hey guys, and happy day. I was going to say like happy Saturday, but it might not be Saturday when you're watching this. So, hey guys, and welcome back. So, I'm really excited to be back here sharing some stuff with you guys um i have been thinking about a lot right like i've realized i have a lot of thoughts and i've been able to translate them the way that i wanted to so i'm happy to be back and talking to you guys about something that i feel like god has been taking pieces of different things and putting it together for me and that is the power of suffering and i know you might be thinking like tia is suffering what do you mean like i don't want to suffer so I'd actually written something a while ago about vulnerability and how that ties into suffering. And between that, some Bible verses that I've read recently, just overall, like my thinking, I realized there's just so much power in our pain. And I say that because, um, you know, obviously we all go through hardships in our life. And I know that sometimes when we go through these difficult times, it seems like for what? Like, God, like, are you punishing me? Like, what did I do to deserve this? But a lot of times God is not putting you through what you go through to punish you he's putting you what you're going through so that you can number one grow from it and number two help other people and better relate to people so i'm gonna get into all that but first i want to read an excerpt of something that i actually wrote so what i'm about to read to you guys is something that i actually wrote back last year in december when i taken a social media break and i was just thinking about being vulnerable let me just read it to you guys and you're gonna understand right so it's titled suffering and it goes like this I've been thinking a lot about my presence on social media and how authentic I am. How I desire to speak my truths in a way that reaches thousands while not leaving myself susceptible to opposition. It has led me to question, can authenticity exist without vulnerability? Well, first, we have to define what it means to be vulnerable. To me, being vulnerable means to find someone or something worth suffering for. Oh, to suffer. Why so intense? To be vulnerable means to leave your most fragile thoughts feelings, and truths exposed. To be vulnerable means to hand someone a knife, knowing that they have full control to kill you, in hopes that they instead release you from the bondage of your own traumas. To be vulnerable is to be okay with suffering. To become so comfortable with the feeling of pain that you open up your arms to take on the burdens of others. At what motive? At what cost? When I think of authenticity, vulnerability, suffering, I think of Jesus, to live a perfect life only to die in agony, suffering. Oh, to suffer, why so costly? Because the price of a message well heard is a heart so willed that it's willing to be wounded. And of course I wrote this at like 1.57 a.m. because when else would I do that? <laughs> but I remember when I wrote this, I was really just thinking about how I saw God using me. And the biggest thing that kept popping up in my mind is God wanted me to be honest. God wanted me to tell my story. God wanted me to tell my truth. And as of today, I can see how God has worked in my life. And he's allowed 20,000 people to see my story about when I deleted social media. Um, and what that taught me about just isolating myself and just connecting with him. Now, obviously, I'm posting on YouTube and I'm back on social media but I feel like that time really taught me what it means to post with a purpose, right? To be honest and to be vulnerable. And as you guys can see from what I wrote, I realized that being vulnerable, being authentic comes at a cost of exposing yourself and just allowing people to see you for who you are and not being able to hide. And with that, obviously comes suffering because in order for you to get the message out that you want to get out, in order for you to say whatever you want to say, right, you're going to have to be okay with others disagreeing with you, talking bad about you, um, misunderstanding you, right? And that could be painful. But another thing that I realized was how much God really brings us closer to each other because of our suffering. 
And I was really thinking about myself and how I relate to people. And I realized the reason why I'm able to relate to others is because I have experienced a lot within my life myself. Now, I'm not saying like I've been through it all. Like I'm 22 years old and I have not experienced all that life has to show me. But I understand that through the tough times that God has brought me through, it's allowed me to humble myself so that whenever I see someone else going through something similar, I can relate to them, whether they have already been through something similar or they're currently going through it. And that's when I really realized the point of me suffering is not only for me to grow, but the point of me suffering is so that I can help my brother or sister who also needs help too. We understand things through our experiences. Like it's one thing to read a story and to read a book and to get the message, but it's another thing when you live it. And I can say this because I'm definitely someone where I have a hard time listening to people. Like, I don't want to say stubborn, but um, <laughs> I definitely am like, I have to try it myself. Like, yeah, you told me that this is A, B, and C, but let me see how I can do it. And that has gotten me into some trouble sometimes. It's been good, right? Because sometimes I learn things on my own, but just, like most of the time I learn things the hard way. But the point is, I understand things best through experiencing them. And I feel like experience is the best teacher. And I really thought about this because I noticed recently how much my patience with people has changed, how much slower I am to react to people because I feel like I've been able to challenge myself to shift my perspective from me looking out the world to like placing myself in other people's shoes and really empathizing with people more and thinking like, why are people the way that they are? Why do they do the things that they do? like what causes them to act like this and then realize that we're very similar like there's always like a common denominator between me and someone else whether it be through um mostly through suffering right because one thing that I realized is that weakness really pulls us together I was listening to a purpose driven life um on audible I highly recommend it if I can link it I'm gonna leave it in the description box but I was listening to it and in one of the chapters it was just talking about why god gives us weaknesses right why are we not good at everything why why do we fail at some things why do we see people striving in things that we're not good at and the reason is because our weakness forces collaboration when you think about your strengths a lot of times it kind of like forces us to want to challenge ourselves to get better right which is definitely a great thing and one thing that i realized is our strengths foster competition whenever you're good at something you want to challenge yourself by beating the next person which is cool because it allows innovation growth and allows us to just go ahead and move forward as a society because we challenge each other right which is great but even more importantly is our weaknesses and I feel like sometimes we find shame in our weaknesses because you're like why am I not able to do something so we just focus on our strengths instead but what weaknesses really do is it humbles us and it allows us to collaborate more than just compete with each other because we're human because we have weaknesses we have to lean on each other in order to grow and become better 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verses 9 and 10 reads, Each time he said, My grace is all you need. My power works best in weakness. So now I'm glad to boast about my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ can work for me. That's why I take pleasure in my weaknesses, and in the insults, hardships, persecutions, and troubles that I suffer for Christ. For when I am weak, then I am strong. So this is actually Paul speaking, and the part where it reads, my grace is all you need, my power works best in weakness, that's highlighted in red because that's the Lord speaking. But basically what I got from this verse was just the understanding that God will take your hardships in order to humble you, yes, and allow him to work through you and show you how strong you actually are with him by your side. And I thought about this in my own life, like I was thinking about how excited I am to be successful and I feel like that's like a normal thing right like we get excited like oh my gosh I can't wait till I have this house and this career and this lifestyle and as much as I am excited for the blessings that I know God is going to bestow upon me I am even more excited for exactly where I am now and I'm so grateful for the painful um trials that God has brought me through last year and even today because I've learned to like rejoice in my pain because it's only making me stronger and that perspective shift has like literally led me to appreciate life even more. I feel like a lot of times we get so caught up in like getting so excited for the future like oh I can't wait until I can't wait until like I'm so excited for whenever 
you know, God gives me this and gives me that because you feel like you don't have something right now. Like you feel like you're in lack. But I've learned to really love like the suffering because I know when I finally do get what God has already promised to me, like I don't feel so like anxious about like, you know, getting my blessings because I already know it's coming, right? But like I really appreciate the times that I am without because I know I'm going to look back at these times and be like, wow, like, like this is what I came from. I understand that, you know, whenever I'm living through a trial or a tribulation, that this is a part of my testimony. Like, I've started to shift my perspective from like, why me? Like, God, like, oh, I hate it here. I'm so sad. Like, even though I might feel that way, like, oh, I hate it here. I'm so sad. Like, I really start changing my perspective to like, like, okay, God. I hate it here. I'm so sad. But like, what do you need me to learn? Like, what are you teaching me? Because it really is in our humblest, lowest moments that God reveals us so much. Like, I realize I learned so much about myself, about others, about life when I'm at my lowest. Like, like wow. Like, I feel like God opens up my eyes to a lot. And I learned to appreciate things more. And I learned to push through more. And I know that there's light on the other side and I learned to humble myself to be able to lean on others for help or just be more open to help other people too because I know that I need help so let me help someone else too because they probably need help too you're not suffering for no reason like God is using you in your lowest moments even when you don't feel like it God is using you for you and for others and I feel like something that really pulls me through whenever I am going through a troubling time or just struggling with anything is just knowing that God's peace is with me and that even though I'm suffering even though I don't know what's going on even though I don't know why I'm going through it God is still with me and I think another like interesting thing about the idea of suffering is that it's very confusing like a lot of times we don't know why we go through what we go through it's like 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 I said in the beginning like why me God like what did I do something wrong are you trying to show me something like why am I going through this there's no control there's confusion there's misunderstanding there's doubt sometimes there's lack of faith right like in these low humbling suffering moments but I want to remind you guys of this bible verse Philippians 4 7 says then you experience God's peace which exceeds anything we can understand his peace will guard your hearts and your minds as you live in Christ Jesus. There are so many times in my life that I could think back to where I'm just like, why God? Like, in the moment, I'm like, I I remember, oh my gosh, so clear. I'm just like, like, when will this be over? Like, what are you trying to teach me? Like, I'm not understanding. This is not fun. I don't like it here. Like, God, why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? And looking back, I'm like, oh, okay, that's why. Because... Even though I didn't know things then, like what I understand now, it makes ex- it makes perfect sense why God brought me through what he brought me through. But that's the thing. When you're going through suffering, I think it's important to remember that God's peace will pull you through. Things that you cannot understand, you're not supposed to understand or else you wouldn't need faith, right? Like, I feel like suffering forces us to have faith in things, have faith in God, have faith in Christ, that if we knew things we wouldn't have and even though you may not feel good even though you may not feel like God is with you faith does not require feeling it is without feeling that makes your faith even stronger and don't beat yourself up if you feel like oh like I have doubt I have faith I have doubt too like all you need is a faith of a mustard seed it's okay if you doubt right I feel like that's normal but as long as you have faith that God's gonna pull you through and lean on God instead of your own understanding and for his peace it will be okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are able to take this, reflect on some of your own sufferings, and use this to kind of think about how can I use my suffering to help someone else? How can I use my hardships to relate to someone, share experiences with someone, or just listen for someone? And also, how can I repurpose my pain to empower myself and those around me? It is late where I'm at, so I hope you guys have have a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!